My name is Jacob Colgrove, Assistant Product Manager here at Redline Controls. In this video, we'll be carrying on in our series where we create a simple program with an AND function using our IC61131 programming software, Crimson Control. In this video, we'll be creating that same program using our text-based language, Structured Text. So let's get started. In the new database, go to your control category. Remember that you need to set your program execution to execute periodically. We're going to set our start mode and cycle time at the default warm and 100 milliseconds. The default program 1 is a function block diagram, so I'll right click on that and select delete. And I'll create a new program by, by right clicking on programs and going to new main program. For the program name, I'll type in test program 1, then I'll select structured text as the language and click OK. Now with your program created, click in the editor window to get the toolbar to appear at the top. Now one way to enter a variable is to click the insert variable button on the toolbar. You'll get your variable dialog box. Structured text is based on C, so the syntax will be very similar to C programming. Because of that, we'll start with our output pump then click OK. The type is Boolean. Where is the test program 1? So it's a local variable. Then click Yes. Now we want to assign this variable pump to the end of switch 1 and switch 2. So we'll use the assignment expression, which is colon equals. Now we'll create the switch 1 variable, but another way to insert a variable is to just type the variable name into the editor. So I'll type in switch one and then I'll highlight the whole thing and click insert variable. And there you see the name is already typed so I can just hit OK. Type is boolean. Where is the local program? Click yes. Then we'll add the ampersand sign to create the and function between switch one and switch two. Type in switch two to create another variable. Then highlight the whole variable and click insert variable again. Then click OK. The type is boolean, where is the test program 1, so it's a local variable, click yes. To complete the entire expression we have to end the line with a semicolon. Once that's complete we can verify that there's no syntax errors by clicking on the verify button. When it indicates that no errors have been detected you can click the build button to build the executable that will run in the RTU. We can view the local program variables by expanding test program 1 in the navigation pane. Tie the data tag to the program variable like we did in previous programs by selecting pump then going to source and select new tag then we use the suggested parameters there. View the data tags by going to the data tag category and opening up the test program 1 folder. Now go to the display page category to create our display page. And I'll go to two state toggles and add in a switch to represent switch one. And I'll add in another switch to represent switch two. Then I'll add in an indicator to represent the pump data tag or variable. To tie the graphics to the data tags, I'll double click on the graphic and then go to the data tag category in the resource pane and drag the data tag to the value field. Then I'll follow the same process for the second switch and the indicator. The database is ready to be loaded into the controller. View the virtual display page, open up Edge or Internet Explorer, and in the address bar type in 192.168.1.20 and click on Remote View. And click Switch 1 to turn on Switch 1. And the same for Switch 2. And once they're both on, the pump output will be on. There, that's all there is to it. We've created that simple program using structured text. Now join me in the next video where we will create this same program using another text-based language, Instruction List.